Leave me alone. Oh god. Oh god. It's like a little drake or something. Like it's not like a full dragon. What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die modded series. Today, we're going to be trying a new mod. We're going to be trying the Medieval mod. I've been waiting for this mod for quite a while. Um, let me read you a little bit about the mod, and then we'll get started. All right, enter a world of orcs, goblins, and yes, dragons. Ride a horse through the beautiful countryside or delve deep into the haunted forest. Travel north through the great orc lands or visit the eerie crystal biome. For thousands of years, humans have believed the myths and legends of old to be just that, legend. Until now, a blight is spreading. Goblins and orc raiders are traveling to your lands, killing, stealing, and bringing something else. Ooh. The land itself is falling prey to the, mythic, uh, to the mystical evil that follows these foul creatures. Structures cannot be built, trees die, and land infertile. Okay, so there's basically this blight that is going to spread out over the land, and you won't be able to build on it. Trees won't grow on it, and you can't plant anything on it. You were in jail for some small misunderstandings between you and the owner of a sheep you ate, but now you're free and you need to defend your homeland against these invaders. Seven Days to Die Medieval Mod Book 1. Okay, this is going to be Book 1. Blight is near a total conversion of Seven Days to Die. Uh, we have brought in new assets, new sounds, new code, features never seen before in a Seven Days to Die mod. Alright, now this is the important thing. Listen to this. Book 1 is a quest-based mod, but more importantly, mostly a proof of concept. Okay. We recognize the benefits that Alpha 17 will bring to the mod, so we have shortened the development time uh, to get a release out as a test run, okay? So basically what we're playing right now is going to be a test run, okay? Not a full mod. So this mod is not designed for extended play, although it should be possible. We have included a number of new features from quest-driven exploration, underground ruins, custom spawning of random world generation dictation. Uh, there are a number... Uh, um, <clears throat> there are a number of behind the scene events taking place that replace the core vanilla system. Uh, we are using book one as a test for these systems, okay? So basically, guys, this Let's Play is going to be... I don't know how long this is going to be, and it might be pretty jumbled. I played this on stream the other day, and I had to restart my world twice within three hours, okay? So this is a, a proof of concept, a test. It's not a full mod, but they are working hard on it, and they're going to make it something awesome in Alpha 17. I couldn't wait. We're going to play it now. We might have to restart our world a few times. I'm not really sure if we're going to see how it's going to go. Let's get started. Okay, if you want to know my seed, there it is, 865265. 3621. I just put a number in a random generator. Survival single player, random gen, warrior difficulty, the rest is default. Modded options, we're going to do 90 minute days, 16 enemy blood moon count, and mark airdrops. Let's get started. All right, so this is, oh, look at this, man. I love this splash screen. This is uh, just amazing. All right, uh, this could take a while to generate a world, so I'm going to pause the video, guys. I'll see you once I'm in game. Okay, here we are, guys. Started Basic of Survival. Listen up. You've just been released, so don't go messing up. Maybe you were innocent, maybe not. Either way, the Lord is dead, and you've been given a second chance. Oh, boy. <clears throat> go find yourself a weapon and make yourself useful. There's a war going on, and it's a fight for our very existence. For God's sake, find some pants. Okay, so let's take a look around. Um, let's see what we got. We're looking for a town. There should be a town close to where we start. Um, as far as I know, there's only one town in the game. So, let's see if we can find it. We're going to go to the top of this hill and kind of look around. I do see some... Oh, there's the town. Okay. Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, frig. Frig me. I got a dragon on me already. Oh, my God. It's a little baby dragon, but I've still got to run. Oh, oh, it sounds like a cop puking. I think it was shooting fire at me or something. Let's grab a bird's nest. I have a hard time finding bird's nests, so... It seemed pretty easy. Uh, a lot easier to find... In the, uh, in the snow biome, though. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. All right, guys. So there's the town. So, I, oh, boy. That thing's still chasing me. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe the townspeople will kill it. Is it going to ever stop chasing me? Oh, boy. All right. Hold on. Let's run. Let's run. Oh, God. It's still on me. All right. Well, maybe I should just let myself get killed. I mean, this is just... I don't think he's ever going to stop. Maybe we'll go to a house. We'll run into a house. See if we can kind of get away from this thing. Oh, God, you hear it? Do you hear it? My sounds sound a bit low. Let me take a look really quick. Nope, we're where we should be. All right, let's just get the hell out of here. All right, you still on me? 
Is he still on me or is he is he coming after me? I can't. Oh yeah, he's. Dude, I wonder if these things like lose interest eventually. Oh, I think he lost interest. Oh boy, woo! Pretty crazy, guys. This is going to be a medieval landscape, which means there's not going to be any paved roads. There's not going to be any augers. There's not going to be any mini bikes. So, just let's be prepared for that. Now, the townspeople seem to be kind of up in the air on if they're hostile or not. There's like, is that thing still on me? Seriously? I think he's still on me. I might just let him kill me, just to, like, if he's not going to stop. Yep. Yep, he is totally not giving up. Well, let's try and run into a house, I guess. But the thing is, as soon as I run into somebody's house, the uh, people in the house are going to try and kill me. Can I make this jump? Nope, I can't make the jump. Oh, I can make this jump. I wonder if the dragon can. Well, let's find out, because I'm out of stamina. Alright, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Pretty crazy start, right? There he is. He's shooting fire at me. I guess it's fire. Leave me alone. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's like a little drake or something. Like, it's not like a full dragon. Um, I think I might just have to let this thing kill me, guys. Maybe I can at least get a bed a bed roll made. That could be pretty cool. Here, let's get a bed roll, and then we're going to hop up back on the house, because he obviously can't get to me. So we're just going to go ahead and get enough grass, make a bed roll, and then I think we're going to have to let him kill us. Unless he's stuck in that house. Um, he might be stuck in the house. Man, he is pissed. That guy's got problems. So anyway, yeah, these, these town folks will, like, attack you for different reasons. I'm not really sure if they all make sense yet. But, um, like I said, uh, the, the, the mod is not really ready for full consumption. Um, but I'm really glad to play it. I'm really freaking gl glad to be playing this thing. Alright, so we gotta put down the bedroll. Alright, so let's put down the bedroll. Let's do our newbie quests. There we go. Alright, um, the newbie quests won't show up, like, one right after another in the pr in the order you would think. So, like, you can see right here, these are all your quests, right? And I'm thinking this one right here, Craft the Stone Axe, is my next quest. Oops. Hold on. Craft the Stone Axe. Let's do that. Alright, and, uh, normally I would just pause the video and do my newbie quest, but... Uh, who knows, man? That freaking dragon might get up in my business again. We don't have to deal with that. So, people might attack you for any reason. Like, I've had people attack me for... Like, stepping on their land. I've had people attack me for going in their house. I had guards attack me just because I went by a guard house. I was even on the road. I didn't even go on their land. I was just on the road. And they started ta attacking me with clubs. Um, and then I've had people attack me for murdering their family. So, <laughs> I guess we could kind of understand that. Uh, let me go ahead and find some rocks. Alright, guys. As you travel around town, you're going to find, like, these gore blocks. Go ahead and break those up. You actually want to save the rotten flesh. It's used for some things that I'll show you in a minute. All right, so I got my axe here. Um, I'm on the opposite side of the town where the uh, dragon was chasing me, so I hope he's still stuck over there. And we're going to come through here, and we're going to... Man, I really got to kill a deer. Um, leather is really important in this mod because you need it to make the... Um, well, you need it to make uh, uh, the forge, right, for, to make the bellows. But there's no, like, couches. There's no, like, leather couches in the game, so you really got to keep a lookout for leather. It's also a lot harder to spot the bird's nest, so you got to keep a lookout for the bird's nest as well. All right, so we got some wood there. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on with our quests. There we go. Wooden club. Okay, I can do that. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a wooden club. And then I think the next one's going to be a campfire. You need 20 rocks for the campfire. So let me go ahead and get some rocks here. All right, guys, I went ahead and made the campfire, and now we have to find a place to put it down. Normally, I would just put it down wherever I'm standing, but in order to save rocks, I think we will try and find a house to put it down in. How does that sound? Now, in order to in order to get a house, we're going to have to kill whoever's in there, unfortunately. I don't. I take no pleasure in this. Well, that's a lie. Um, but you know what I'm saying. Um, we're going to try and find a house. We're going to try and find what a second story. That's a little bit too big. That made it, I think this is actually an inn, right? But uh, I'm going to try and find a house. Maybe um, this one right here might be good. It's got this little walkway, though. I don't like that. But eh, it's a nice house. Yeah, let's just over let's just take this house. All right. So we got to try and we're going to walk in here. Then we're going to get attacked because, well, we're walking in somebody's house. Right? You going to attack? Is she going to attack? She should have attacked. Sometimes the, the, the different NPCs have different temperaments. And some won't attack you if you walk in their house. So this, this seems to be... Maybe we can live with these people. Maybe. Let's see. How's your temperament? Oh, boy. 
Are these guys all cool? Or is this, this might be an end, too. This might not... Oh, God. He doesn't have a good temperament. Move! Move! This guy's trying to kill me. Yep, yep, yep. I can't tell if that's a house or not. I think it's a house. But there's a lot of people living in there. I thought it might have been an inn, but... Yeah, this guy's going to be a problem. we got to take him out. There we go. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, got him there. Missed. 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 Oh. Oh. He's running in circles. He's confused. Now, I don't know if anyone saw that. <laughs> or cares. But I just murdered the guy that was in that house and grabbed eight gold. So that is pretty cool. Alright, so my character is in, uh, invisible. I think I might have some fixes for that. That was happening on stream the other day, but I'm not really that worried about it, to be honest. So is anybody mad that I just murdered that man? Are you? Are we cool? Are we cool? All right. I think everyone else in here is pretty cool. I don't know if you get in trouble for looting stuff. Anybody down here got any problems? I, basically, I just want to make sure no one's gonna hit me in the back while I'm looting. All right. Everyone seems to be okay. Okay. So will they get? In, will they get mad at me if I loot? That I do not know. That I do not know. Let's take their chairs. Nope. They're cool. Take the candle. Very good. Get out of my house. All right, take these. I wonder if they can open doors. If they can't, I could just let them leave. I would like a way to take over a house without murdering everybody like a psycho killer. But, I don't know. Maybe I should put a bedroll down in here. That would probably block it, right? Yeah, I think, um, I think Guppy Kerr, uh, Guppy Kerr's, I, I, I don't know if he's, he's not the only person that made the mod, but I think he's like the lead guy. Um, so Guppy Kerr told me that, um, if you place down something, that might help, uh, NPCs not spawn there anymore. All right, so we got a frying pan. Nothing in there. We got a bookcase. Nothing in the bookcase. Because why would there be anything in a bookcase? Uh, we got a cloth hat. <clears throat> uh, nothing in that nightstand. We got, we got a chest here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and put on some of this gear. There we go. Now we're now we're a floating head. Look at our little eyes in there. That looks like Shadow Man. Shadow Man strikes again. Uh, I don't know where to put this. Um, I don't really think it matters. I'll put it right there. Uh, okay, let's do the rest of the place. This is my house. Um, I could pick that up, but I think if you have glass jars, you could get beer out of that. So let's leave it down for now. Although I guess if I pick it up, I could put it down again. I'm not really sure. Um, and then we got a uh, grindstone here. Uh, ooh, a whole long sword. Everything in this game is medieval. Like there's no like, there's no like um, modern stuff. It's really cool. And like I was telling people on uh, stream the other day. Oh, there's my. That's what I needed. Actually, you know what? I don't have to... Oh, I gotta put it down to do the quest, don't I? Yeah, I gotta put down the campfire to do the quest. That kind of sucks. You should be able to pick it back up, because I'm gonna have to make one when I don't really need to. Put it right there. Oh, good. It just got destroyed. That's awesome. Alright, well, whatever. We'll worry about that later. Anyway, my, one of the other quests I'm gonna want to do right here is... Um... Da -da -da -da, cooking grill. No, that's not it. Um, campfire cooker. I'm gonna toggle that as active. I think I just finished my quest thing now, so campfire cooker, toggle active. In order to make one, we need another uh, another campfire, which is why I didn't want to uh, have to put it down. All right, fair enough. Did we get points for that? We did. Uh, sex T-Rex is not sex T-Rex anymore. It's endurance. Stamina gain for athletics. There we go. Let's grab the frying pan and let's loot the rest of this house. Ooh, good. We got some food. Oh, we got some bread. So what is this? This is an oven. Oh, that's an oven. Okay. All right, good. This is going to be a nice house to live in. Very nice house to live in. we got to find some, uh, some... Oh, maybe you can't get beer out of these. I can't remember. You can get beer out of one of these. I'm going to leave them here because there's no reason to pick them up. This is my house now. Nobody nobody comes in this house unless I say it's okay. Uh, Let's drop some stuff off in this chest quickly and go out and do some more looting. Yeah, we got some good stuff. We'll take the gold because we might have to kill more people. And when you kill people, you get gold. Rotten flesh, we're going to hold on to that. Uh, we're going to plant this. Uh, we're going to grab this. We're going to turn this into a shiv. Okay, and we'll just throw some stuff in here for now. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I want to take all this. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want to take all this. We'll leave that in there too. I don't need to be planting that right now. All right, let's go ahead and get some more loot. Gotta make sure nobody get nobody else gets in my house. This is my house. Nobody comes in my house anymore. All right. So what is this? Is this like a black blacksmith thing or anybody? Is this a problem? Is anyone mad at me for this? I can't tell if there's a private. I can't tell when these are private residences and when they're not. Um, this kind of looks like a private residence actually. 
Oh, look at this. We can get wood from these. Really good place to get wood, actually. Look at that. Four wood per with, like, the weakest axe in the game. That's incredible. That's a really good amount of wood. So that's cool. All right. Let's, uh, let's come in here. We got a problem. We got a problem. We good? All right. Get out. I don't trust you. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. She don't like that. She's like, get out of my room. I was changing my undergarments. I, I was changing my pantaloons. Come on, lady. We get a fight or what? There we go. Come on out here. There you go. I'd like to fight you in the street where everyone in the town can see it so they don't mess with me. Oh. Gumpinker said something about the um the axes being a weapon. I wonder if the axe is a better weapon than the than the club. Entity damage 8.5. No, definitely not better. Oh, what is that? No. Nap Napatha? I don't know what that is. Interesting. What can we make with it? Um, potion, cure bite, vial of dragon's breath. Holy crap, man. This mod is going to be awesome. Oh, man. I know a lot of this stuff probably isn't in the game yet, um, but damn. Like, get out of my house. Ah, they can't open doors. Oh, that's beautiful. Now let's search the, the nightstand of the lady we just murdered. Well, to be fair, I wouldn't have murdered her if she didn't start, you know, crap. Alright, we got anybody up here that's going to be a problem? Yeah, when you come in these houses, guys, keep a lookout for people who are pissed that you're coming in their house and taking their candles. You can also take these chairs, but you can't scrap these chairs, but they do have a burn time. So, I'm going to take them. Alright, there we go. Alright, we got in here. Anybody in here? Nope, good. Alright. Come on, man. These, uh, these nightstands are always empty. What is that? What did I just get? Uh, bucket 01. Oh, wait, it said something. Hold on. Uh, used for bases. Upgrade, uh, and repair with wood and construction tool. Upgrade more with iron, concrete, mix, and others. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Alright, um, oh, we got some pantaloons. Beautiful. What do we got here? We're building our body as we gain stuff. See? Now we have a head, shoulders, and thighs. So, there we go, man. We're get we're getting somewhere. Okay. You got anybody up here? Anybody going to try and kill me? Um, doesn't seem like it, but... Uh, okay, we got some jars. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Can't do nothing with that bucket. Okay. This is a nice house, too. Oh, what is this? Okay, so a torch, a bone, glue, animal hide. The animal hide's a good find. Okay. This is a cool building. This um this mod has some of the like really, really interesting POIs, like um prefabs. They're just really, really cool. It's one of the things I love about it. I think we need more medieval medieval mods. I think we need more medieval survivor games. Can you guys tell me of any medieval survival games in the comments? I know a couple, but I'm curious if there's any other ones, because I don't think there's enough. Like they're all about getting guns and stuff. I want to see more medieval stuff. Wait. Did I not get anything or Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, is that duping? Because I only had two jars, didn't I? Hold on. That's duping. Okay, uh, gup Guppyker. That's um, that's a dupe right there. I will not take advantage of it anymore. All right, so we're going to leave those there. So those are beer beer barrels, and I got I got myself some beer. Uh, I don't know. There's a gain stamina. I don't know if there's a stamina. I don't use beer anymore. Is there still a stamina boost on it? But I don't think it lasts that long. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, there's a lot of dead people. Actually, there's no dead people in there. I had the woman leave the house before I murdered her. Uh, did I put down my bed in that building? Yes, I did. All right, let's keep looting. All right, man. Oh, are you guys excited for this mod or what? Like, what do you think? I'm hoping they can get a lot done before Alpha 17. Because, um, I really like this mod. <clears throat> I think, uh, Guppy and his, and his crew might have, um, bit off a little bit more than they can chew. Because now everyone's going to be like, oh, we've got to fix more. Because I'm going to be like that anyway. I don't know about other people. I want it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited about it, though. Um, when I was streaming, uh, Gup was in the uh, in the, in the the uh, chat. And um, he said he was getting some good ideas about thing to change, things to change and things to do with the mods. So that was pretty cool. Uh, you guys going to kill me or what? Hello? No? Yes, no, maybe so? What about you? We cool? Okay, we cool. Get out. Get the hell out of here. Get out of my house. Anybody up here that wants to kill me? 
You guys want to kill me? Uh, oh, no, you guys are cool. All right, cool. We got some cool dudes in here, man. You know, I'm going to take your chairs. You're not going to be sitting down on nothing no more. Let's see if they uh, attack me when I loot their stuff. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, they don't seem to care. Excuse me. Excuse me, um, good sir. Can I get in that chest book behind you? We still cool? All right. I'm going to take your candles, too. You guys can sit in the dark. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. So, we did loot that one. We looted... That one's where I'm living. Uh, let's go this way. I'm going to go in the inn. Now, the the inn is one of the places I got the null reference error, but I don't know if it was this inn. So, I'm going to be a little bit careful in here. Now, this is an inn, so people should... Wh why does he want to kill me? What? He didn't see me kill anyone. He just, he was like waiting at the door. Maybe he was like from one of the other houses or something. I'm not sure. Try really hard not to kill the townspeople, but they don't leave me any choice. I'm the victim here, guys. Ooh, oh, yes, sir. Goblin blood, iron sh Oh man, that guy was loaded. That guy was loaded. Let's go ahead and make some arrows. All right, what do we need for arrows? We got what we need. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Now if we could, if we see any deer, we can actually kill them. We gotta keep a lookout for bird's nests. Like I said, when I was playing the other day, um, I was having a hard time with bird's nests, and they made bird's nests harder to spot. Um, so, that's something I'm gonna have to deal with. Alright, everybody cool? Everybody cool? Oh! oh! Yeah, she cool. She's walking away at a brisk pace. We okay? Anybody in here? Are we okay, dude? We good? Okay, we're good. All right, so we got a workbench here, which is cool. Oh, this guy's this guy's uh, shadowing me. I don't think I appreciate that. All right, let's keep looting these cabinets. Some honey. Okay, we got a. Um, I'm not sure what this is for yet. The mortar. Um, I know that I know it shows the you could put the mortar up here, but Guppy said that that's a bug and that shouldn't be there. So I'm not really sure, like what the mortar's for. We cool? We go no, we're not cool. We're not cool. Come on, bro. Let's dance. Step outside. My rig's outside. There you go. That's what you get. There you go. There you go. And you're done. You're done. All right, Jacob. You messed up. You done messed up, Jacob. Okay, let's see if anyone else in here wants to kill me. What about you? You want to kill me? Oh, yeah, he does. He does want to kill me. He wants me dead. Come on outside, buddy. Come on. Get out here. You're going to die right next to Jacob. Come on. So, again, this is an inn. I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe there's some kind of reputation system. Uh, Guppy, was, Guppy didn't want to tell me too much. He wanted me to be surprised. But I'm thinking there's some kind of reputation system behind the scenes where maybe when we kill people... That's giving us bad rap. I, I honestly don't know. Um, he was he was hinting at it, but he wasn't saying it outright. He was being very cagey. <laughs> I can appreciate that. All right, alchemy bench. That's nice. Okay. Okay. I did not show you. Do I have any on me? Yes, I do. Okay, I didn't show you what to do with this stuff yet. Oh, wait. Oh, there was stuff on them. There we go. I didn't show you what to do with this stuff yet. Let me show you what to do with this. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go drop off some stuff so we can do some more looting. All right. So, uh, with the rotten flesh, you turn it into dried intestine. And you need that to make the bow, I believe. All right, guys. I dropped stuff off. I was going to come out here to um, gather some flowers and stuff. And I saw a pig. I'm going to try and get this pig. Although, he seems, he seems pretty fast. Like, faster than the regular pigs. Um, I really don't want to waste my arrows because I don't have a ton of arrows. But I might have to. He seems almost impossible to hit, though, with arrows. I mean, look at this. Like, how am I supposed to predict which way he's going to zig when he's going to zag, you know? Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can really catch him. Where'd he go? Ah, I don't know. I got chased by some lady out here in a blue dress, too. God knows what the hell I did to her. <laughs> did I just... Oh, there he is. There, come on. Come on, damn it. Ugh. He's, like, so spazzy, like, I can't really get him. I'm gonna keep trying. Let's see if we can get him. Is she okay? 
Yeah, that's that looks like the lady that was trying to kill me earlier. Uh, no, she's cool. All right, I guess we just gotta. Boom! The hell up timer. So do we just wait for? Oh, here we go. Yeah, the, there's not a lot of birds nests out here. I've been looking for them, and I don't think I've been missing a lot of them either. Where'd he go? See, you shoot him once, and then he's not here, and then you, you wasted that arrow. Where did he go? It's really hard to spot, little bugger. I see him. I'm gonna try and sneak attack him. Got him. Started running before I hit him, though. That's bull. <laughs> I guess the guy who's running up to him kind of scared him, maybe. Come on, stop running, dude. There you go. That's too far. Oh, come on. Come on. Why is he running? It's just random. How am I supposed to get that? I need a freaking shotgun. <laughs> Sniper rifle, man. <laughs> All right, let's see where he goes up here. There he is. I see him. I see him. Three hits. I feel like he should be dead by now. Come on, you stupid pig, you. You stupid smart pig surviving everything. Oh, man. Finally got him. He did not want to die. It took five arrow shots. All right, let's see how much he gives me. What I really need from him more than anything is the, uh, is the leather. Hopefully he gives me some. Can't take it for granted that you're going to get it. No bones and food. And no leather. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a real problem. Five arrows was not easy to get for one thing of food and one bone. That was kind of useless. All right, well, maybe the deer's the way to go. All right, we got a boar here, which is nice because I'll fight back. The problem is I've only got six arrows. We got to make sure to get a headshot on the first one. Nice. Get out of the way, lady. That's my kill. The hell out of here before I got you. There you go. Give me some leather, dude. All right, there's one. So we've got two. We need 20. There's three. I got one at home. That's what I'm saying. All right, so I think we got about four or five now total, right? Yep, we got five total. Okay, we need 20. Remember, there's no leather couches. <laughs> All right, I'm going to look for bird's nest, and then uh, we're going to go back into town and loot for a little while. The hell is up here? I think there's bandits in the game. And I'm seeing someone up here that looks really suspicious. There's also a deer up there. Um, what do I need for... Oh, I need more stone. Okay. Alright, let's take a look up here. Because uh, I wonder what this what this dude's holding. Looks like a, maybe a hammer or something? What the hell? That's an ogre. That's an ogre. Should we fight it? Ugh, I don't want to have to do a corpse run. Uh, no, I don't think I'm... I don't think... He's, he's in, like, full armor, dude. I don't think I'm supposed to be fighting that guy right now. Uh, we'll come back and get him if we... You know, probably next video. We'll see if we can uh, do some killing. But I'd like to get a better weapon than a wood club before I go fighting a freaking ogre like that. Man, he looks badass. He's guarding that deer, though. I really want to get that deer. Yeah, guys, do yourself a favor. Go to the snow biome. Um, anywhere you see snow, go there for the, um, for the bird's nest. They're basically invisible anywhere else i mean <laughs> uh, i thought they just weren't around but when i come up here they're everywhere um and when i'm down there they're nowhere and i don't think that he would have a different amount of birds nests in one biome than another so i'm probably just missing them down here because they're man they're they're like i said they're virtually invisible um so yeah go to go to the snow biome for your feathers so i got a pretty decent amount of feathers up there um, I'm up to 37 arrows, which is good. We gotta get a few more, uh, we gotta get a few more animal kills. Unfortunately, I didn't realize this video is going so freaking long, man. I just want to keep playing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna have to end this pretty soon. Let's come on over here. I did see a house over here. We're gonna kind of loot this house, see if there's anybody in here. Be careful. I don't know, like, what the points of interest like. I don't know what the houses are like that are not in the town. You know, I don't know if a goblin lives here or... I don't think so. I would think goblins and stuff would live in, like, you know, caves and everything, but... You never know. All right, so there's a couple ladies here. One wants to kill me already just for looking in the window. Okay, well, it's got to be hard living up here. So anytime they see a stranger, they're probably like, "Oh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna take my sheep," you know, or whatever. So we're just gonna kill them both because who the hell's gonna know? All right, only you guys. You won't wrap me out, will you? You okay, lady? We cool? We cool? Yeah, we're cool. All right. Yeah, you're fine. All right, I'm gonna take all your stuff. Don't look. 
Oh. You got nothing, man. You're freaking... You're trying to kill me over nothing? Like, there's literally nothing in this house. What a piece of crap. Wish I could burn it down. <laughs> All right, guys. I am going to actually head home for the night. It looks like it's it's uh, getting pretty late. Um, I don't know. If I get home be if I get home before night, maybe we'll start next video doing some looting and I'll spend the night off camera. Not really sure. Maybe I'll spend the night killing some animals. I don't really know. We'll have to wait and see how things go. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this mod. Um, let me know if you're going to try it yourself. Again, I just want to reiterate, this mod is not really ready for consumption. It is not a full experience. Um, and, you know, if you play it, just know that, you know, I, like I said, I've already gotten two null re reference errors. Although I didn't get any today, which is nice. Um, knock on wood. But, um, yeah, you, we might have to be restarting the world constantly. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm just going to keep playing it as long as I'm having fun. As long as you guys are having fun watching it. Um, I'm going to keep playing it. Uh, by the way, this stuff in my inventory, all these, like, leaves and stuff. This is stuff I've just been picking up along the, along the way. So, all right, guys, if you want to see more of this uh, mod, make sure to leave those comments, leave the likes, mash the thumb button like it owes you money, and, um, you know, come back for more later. So, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.